Here we go, gang. What is the length of the missing side? Okay, so first off, I'm reading the question first, as always, because I want to know what I want to know. And that didn't really give me too much information. I know that I'm dealing with a shape here, and there's a missing side, but that's all I got. So let me read the actual question and read through the whole thing and see if there's anything given here. Uh, right triangle. There it is. Okay, we're dealing with the right triangle here. We're dealing with the right triangle, so I'll go ahead and draw my right triangle. Cool. So there's my right triangle, and it says it has a hypotenuse of 13 units long. Okay, cool. So my hypotenuse is 13 units right there. And then it says I have a side 5 units long. Okay, so I'll just make this 5 right here. Okay, cool. And then we want to know what the length of the missing side is. Okay, cool. Right there, I'll call that x units. And really quick, before we continue my math party people, I know you're enjoying this and you can have thousands of problems just like this in our program. In our program, you have four main things to help you succeed and more. But mainly in our course, you're going to get access to recorded lessons. You're going to get access to guided practice just like this. Worksheets that you can print out and try or keep them online. And lastly, speed drills to raise your confidence. That way, when you take the test, there's no test anxiety. There's no pressure because you've been timed before, you know what to do, and that's the feeling that we want. And all of that's included in our program and more. So take a brief moment, click the link here in this video or in the description to learn about the program and then reach out to us if you have any questions. Sign up now, let's get going, and let's get back to the problem. So far so good. Again, right triangle. My hypotenuse is always gonna be across the right angle. Boom, right there. And so we just have to understand that we're looking for that missing side. What should we be thinking automatically? Pythagorean theorem, okay? Pythagorean theorem all day here. Pythagorean theorem. And so, one thing that I will suggest is checking to see if you have a Pythagorean triple. If you have a Pythagorean triple, this makes this problem like five seconds. You're done. So, can we see that, you know, 13 is five times something, and then we have three and two times something over here? or three, four, five, excuse me, is five, three, or four times something? No, 13 isn't a multiple of five either. So this is not a Pythagorean triple. If you're not used to Pythagorean triples, don't worry. Just discard what I just said. You're good. We can just set up the Pythagorean theorem as normal. Remember that your hypotenuse is the C squared. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This is your C, always. Your hypotenuse is your C. And so we're gonna end up having five squared plus x squared equals c squared, which is going to be 13 squared. So let's get to it here. Five squared is 25. x squared stays x squared. 13 squared, what is that? 13 squared is gonna be 169. Okay, cool. So with that, Let's go ahead and take care of business now. We wanna get the x squared by itself. So the first thing I'll do is I'll subtract 25 from both sides, just like that. So if I subtract 25 from both sides, goodbye there, x squared equals 144. What square gives you 144? 12, 12 all day. Because again, you're taking the square root here. x equals the square root of 144. That is the opposite of squaring. Squaring, square rooting, opposites. Just like multiplication and division, addition, subtraction, squaring, square rooting. They are opposites of each other, and that's how we will go ahead and figure out what x is. x equals 12, and that is answer choice D right there. And so my party people, there we have it. Let me know if that makes sense. And if not, keep asking questions. I want you to be confident about this, and we can't always get there by just trying to run our head through a wall by ourselves. Keep asking questions, keep moving forward, and keep making that little bit of progress every single time. I'll see you in the next question. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.